let's all bow. Yes, let's all bow our heads and thank the Lord for giving us the bestest boy of the next gen of Pokemon. <laughs> like, like they why do y'all like this pig so much? Because, <laughs> look, bro, like you just like that was like the icing the cake. Like first off, you have this adorable little pig, bro, and then you name him Lechonk. Like, really? Lechonk. I don't know what you know what you're doing, bro. You know what you're. That's all I'm about to say is y'all know exactly what the fuck y'all doing. Y'all know exactly uh, what y'all doing, and then like, so I'm not even gonna lie. So, so, so Monday afternoon, we, we, we got the tweet from the Pokemon company saying yeah, right. we're gonna drop the trailer tomorrow. For, and again, like I know we say this every single time, but I love when Nintendo does that. It's like, all right, man, we, we about to do this shit tomorrow. Y'all ready? <laughs> nah, fuck it, sorry, it don't matter. Uh, there's no huge buildup or anything. It's like you got 24 hours to to tell your boss that you're gonna be taking lunch at this point in time. So yeah. get with it. And I gotta correct you, Kyle, because they don't necessarily even say y'all ready. They simply just say, if you're not ready, get ready. Exactly right. So Nintendo so works like Perry. Hey, we got people pulling up. Prepare yourself. <laughs> trailer. We're here. Uh, <laughs> trailer is really good. I really like it. Um, obviously, like I mean, it, it's obviously we don't know that this is supposed to be alpha or, or what type of gameplay, but. Um, it's Nintendo, it's Pokemon, so like there's there's some texture things in there that Marcus had to complain about that I'm gonna tell him to shut up about. But the Leave my mark crazy. alone. I was I was very me and Mark already fought about this, so like it's whatever. <laughs> it's um, the trailer looked good. Uh, we got some new Pokemon. Um, we, we got this this little grass thing that no one cares about. Uh, we saw the starters again. Uh, we saw that Nintendo is trying to sexify uh, the, the the professors because the professor huh. hentai artists have been busy. <laughs> <laughs> they have, and I've seen work <laughs> busy this week. And like, you really don't technically say that about like Pokemon games, but no, they they they've been going to work uh, this week because. They some attractive ass professors, bro. Professor Oak needs to step aside. He he needs For to For real. Him. Like bro, Professor please. Oak needs to have um he needs to have uh Uncle Iroh moment. Go 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 get and, locked up. And, and, and Dommy Mommy Seda Professor? Bro. Please punish me. <laughs> <laughs> so I would I would I would like to say this, Kyle. This gen that we see is some of the cutest designs that I've seen in quite really some time. Are. They they really are. Uh, and me and Aiden were talking about this um, not so long ago. Shout out to the anime academic uh, Aiden. Um, I I really wish that they would give us a game that was like an untouched region. Like like it's not influenced by any of the other Pokemon because like that was one thing he said is like I I I love the design of a lot of these new Pokemon. The these legendary Pokemon are like some of the dopest legendary. Oh my god, dude! Ever. Like it has. Th I, I, we gotta get. We gotta make sure Derek has his Nintendo Switch because it has thrusters as feet. Thrusters. <laughs> thrusters, bro. Um, but yeah, so like, but. Like I want a whole Pokédex of this. Like I like I I want to see like I don't want to see like what we'll, we'll probably get 40, 40 to fifty new mons like actual new mons and like if you don't even and that's probably even including like different variants because some of those are gonna just be different variants of other right. Pokemon. Mm. Uh, so like maybe like like so maybe like twenty five to thirty actual new mons, which is like, yo, bro, just just. Remember back in the day, 150 new mon. Right. Pokemon Go comes in, not 150, but at that point, what was it like 90 to 100 new mons? Like when, like when Pokemon Gold and Silver came out. Like, like I, I want to get back to those numbers, because at the end of the day, like when, when you bring in, like he, he said it best, is like, listen, all like no matter what new bird comes into this game, if well, Talonflame is here. He is. So I'm gonna go for Talonflame, like, like nine times out of ten. Like, there's like unless you have like a, a bulked up Braviary, like different version, two point or something like that. And he, he said, he said what other mod? He's like, oh, uh, Staraptor. He said if you have if you have a Staraptor uh, version two in in this region, okay, maybe. But 
nine times out of ten, I'm gonna go for Bravery. Like, Easily. no matter what, no matter what ghost they bring in, I, I'm getting Gengar. Like, yep. there's probably not another ghost that you're gonna you're gonna make me want to get over Gengar. And Gengar is in the game. Yeah, Alpha Fame is like one of the favorite birds of all generations. He 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 but, speed. He hits. I mean, he's a glass cannon, but he hits. He can set up. Or if you're looking at the battle axe, but he sub tell win. He he null and void. If you have a grass on the field, he's probably gonna go first. He can get your grass mines out the way, and I mean, he's a good setup mom, and he can attack. Looks dope, bro. Like, so, it, it, but yeah. so this is my thing. Like I understand, and I one hundred percent agree with i would like them to go that gold and silver route of hey let's get a hundred new pokemon in this game is that what it was like close yeah because okay. we went from what with pokemon uh go we went from 150 to uh, 251 because they added in mu okay. to the pokedex officially yeah okay. um but like with that though this is this is the argument that that i draw from the reality of the matter is it was that Pokemon games, yeah, the Pokemon games at this point are expected to have 400, 500, 600 Pokemon in there. So imagine how difficult it is to not only create 100 new monsters, but also have to be ready to program and stuff in 500, 600 other monsters on the side as well. So I, I would assume, because like from what I understand, like when it comes to their creative process, a lot of Pokemon don't make it. They are left on the cutting block, or a lot of them will be held off and they get put into the the, the following generation. Mm -hmm. So I think it's more of a thing of like, like they have to prioritize what they think fits best into whatever region they're coming out with, rather than their ability to actually create all of those Pokemon. But I would I would love to see like if we just hit a new region and we have at least in the the national decks is like once the game opens up like cool like we get into that you know international decks. So like so like that I feel like like that's the route that you go. So yeah, we're in we're in a space and time where where Nintendo could do this. They could uh, dedicate the time to actually give us a hundred new models like that because they're off they're finally offloading some of this work like they did with um uh brilliant 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 diamond shining pearl like where they're able to offload some of that and they're kind of dividing the teams up to do that so with that little bit of extra manpower give us honestly give me a game where i go into a region for the first time go through the go through the gym go through the elite four blah 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 bam that's all all of that is new pokemon after you beat the Elite Four, after you beat the, the, the campaign or whatever, you're like the, the the DLC or whatever you want to fucking call it. I, I don't care. It's like, oh, like this region is opened up to the world and more people are traveling here, integrating other Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Now, now we have our national decks and now other Pokemon are here as well. But um, that's that's my that's oh, my take on it. And so uh, I, I got to switch topics for one second because I'm getting tired of this. OK, LeChunk. He's cute. I get it. His name is cute. Yeah, I get it. Why are people talking more about LeChunk than the fact that they confirmed open world Pokemon with four player co-op in the hold, 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 hold. I, I didn't have my time. I didn't have my time to talk. Just know. I'm gonna let you know that if you try to join my team without a LeChunk, you I'm are dismissed. <laughs> what about a Gengar? Look, what if you have a Gengar? I play every game solo. I don't need to be on y'all squad. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Sarah, you may join. We will give you a Lechonk if you have a if you have a hunter. If you I'm have not Lechonks now. <laughs> you get a Lechonk. You get a Lechonk. <laughs> A golden pig. Do you understand that? It's a golden pig. It's a golden pig. And he has teardrops. And he has teardrops. He done pulled up. On oh, no. It's automatic that if it's a pig and if it's a chonky pig, it is loved. It is bestest boy. Oh, my God. So, but one thing I, I do want to point out outside of the uh, four player co op, Great we business. have hair designs for black people. Everyone in the congregation, can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Oh my! Like, bro, like, <laughs> so excited about okay. that. I was like, there it is. 
<laughs> like Kyle knows. Like it, like any time that a major release of a game comes out where it's like the 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 finding point of this game is customized characters. Like Kyle knows without a shadow of a doubt. D Ray is looking for Dad Pad on 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 Twitter, and I'm saying it. Where the fuck are the black hairstyles? Yeah. <laughs> and like that was one of the questions I had like, because in the trailer she had curly hair. I know it was like the kinky, had, curly kind of locks, and then the other, yes, like, the other black kid had the headband with the. Uh, uh, that's what I'm talking ooh. about right there. But like, like so, okay, so I will say, I, I want to see the rest of the game because, I, like, when this happens, we t we get what, two or three, like I just I need them to go all in. I I I need, I need high top fades. I, 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 need, I, I need that I need, bone. I need that Miles Morales, that crisp lineup, yes. Boniqua cut. You feel me? Bruh, so, like, I'm, I'm just, ho I'm hoping like we didn't see the extent of it. Is, is where? Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's somewhere. Yeah. I mean, we ain't had this much in Pokemon in forever. So this, this, now, this can be. Um, sorry, Gary, but I, I, I want to say that this, this Pokemon game, if done right. Because they're, of course, they're going to integrate Pokemon Home, and you can integrate a lot of your Pokemon from other games. Um, mm -hmm. It has a lot of the good qualities from other Pokemon games that I've seen incorporated into this one. So I seen that you could throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon and capture it without battling. That was yeah. something you can do in Pokemon Arceus. So that is something I'm really excited to see and see how it can be expounded upon and how... Um, it's going to be integrated because the battle system in Arceus is completely different from the battle systems in your typical Pokemon game. So I'm really curious on how they're going to implant that. Um, is my Pokemon going to be able to follow me? Because if so, um, to join the LeChonk group, your LeChonk must be following you at all time. 100%. I love it. I love it. You know what? You get Pokemon, I don't care. <laughs> Fucking gear. Yeah, just, Put it back and y'all hype it up, LeChonk, like y'all not going to make it evolve and then realize that it's probably not a viable Pokemon and then you're going to put it in the box and never use it again. LeChonk like, is going to be a thick boy. He's going to be, bro. Okay, so Perry, look, I'm going to say this right now. You know we get down on the doubles. Of course. You know that is, you know that is the only way to battle when you a real one is the of doubles. Of course. So, so you telling me this. When, when we all know that part of the strategy of doubles is having a team that you can form in at least three different ways based on your, your team of six, you mean to tell me that you're going to give one of your six slots to a entry-level Pokemon that's probably going to be in Route 1 in this game? I mean, if, yeah, he, becomes, what, if, he, comes, if, he, if he becomes Thickest Boy, absolutely, because Thickest Boy on... On my last doubles team of thickness was beaten ass. Let's be real. Outside of Talonflame, what other Pokemon or baby form of Pokemon have been viable in Route One on a game? Let's see. We can use Pidgey when you want to use him when he's in doubles. If you want to use, but Pidge but, but Pidgeot is not something that's going to be heavily viable in, in in a competitive play. I mean, he was before the other Pokemon came, but I answered your question. So we're Man, going... before other Pokemon came, there was no competitive scene. There was Pokemon. a competitive scene. It was a competitive scene everywhere. He was still viable. What, what the Uncle Land? Oh my! F I'm not going to cuss. It is not. I'm not going to be clipped today. I'm already tired. I'm not going Look, through this. At Funko Land, Perry, I'm no. not doing this. Continue. That's all I'm I saying. I have something to say. Please, Sarah, Please. do I'm your thing. Choose your starter now. Go. Everything. The green cat done. Squirtle. <laughs> well, I like that. I'm old school, so I, I can't I'm, be bad at it. I didn't, I didn't bat an eye for that, but unfortunately, you got to pick one of the three. So, do you like Captain Duck? Uh, he is, he is Sir right. Donald. <laughs> that, is, that is definitely Donald Duck. <laughs> that is Sir <laughs> Donald. It's Donald so, Duck. <laughs> and you know what? I'm getting both of them. So for Violet. I'm getting, I'm probably going to get the cat, um, but for the other one, I'm getting Sir Donald, and I'm letting y'all know, I'm shooting paper towels at all peasants. Racism intended. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm shooting paper towels. 
bro, if that's what his that if that's what his special like evolution lines of attack is his paper towel throw I'm, I'm flipping over my entire desk I'm returning my switch if that's the case <laughs> so you know what would be hilarious what if as he evolves into his final form his toupee gets bigger but the top of his head gets thinner in hair it would be hilarious oh, his, no, his, 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 do it. His, his name would be Sir Trump <laughs> no the leak thing he's gonna be a um uh, a water fighting type, so mm. he, he's just evolving into a Chad, bro. He's gonna evolve into a Chad, and to a my dad will sue you. That's what he'll yeah. be in his second form. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, love we it. love uh, it. I'm going Firestarter for, for, for sure. I, I, I like I, I like my fire croc. What's Fuck. name? For what, Coco? <laughs> for Coco. These names are funny. He's Quaxley, Sprigatito. Is he popping into a midlife crisis? <laughs> <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus, that was hilarious. Who said that? Oh. Right. But to, to uh, kind of key in what, what Greg was talking about before, yeah. So, um, despite like obviously some characters and Pokemon that they showed, they did show that um, there is going to be some form of four player co op in the game. Um, it doesn't look like it's time blocked in the story at all because everybody that ever they showed had all the little baby Pokemon. Obviously, that could just be staged, but um, yo, like that's fucking dope. Um, and they yeah. did via Twitter that you do not have to progress in the world in a specific order, which, Ooh, okay. which is huge. Okay. It's the favorite announcement of the game because, like, I mean, like that that, that just that that adds to replayability. Like, like, okay, so what what's gonna be the most optimal or what the most efficient way to get to the Elite Four when you yeah. start with Quick uh, Quixly or whatever the fuck his name is or, or when yeah. you start the fire starter or when you start like what's going to be the best way to go about this now or yeah. or which or point me into the direction that my dratini or the or my Storlax says that i'll go there first so i can right. catch yeah, yeah. And, and i think that's really cool because it seems like in some ways like game freak is super well aware and like leaning into their fan base because one as we've seen with the hair and like the representation of black people, that has been a, a, a sore topic for Pokemon games for like the last two or three games now. But mm -hmm. the other thing is like for the longest, there was the whole joke about, oh, how is Brock a gym leader and all he has is a Geodude and an Onyx that are like level 10 or whatever. And, you know, along with that came the fan theory of, oh, well, these gym leaders are probably looking at how many badges you have and selecting their Pokemon based on the level of badges that you have. So mm -hmm. considering the fact that you can you can attack any gym in any order that you'd like to, it seems like more more than ever, they might be leaning into that idea of, all right, based on how many badges you have, this is what this, this next gym leader is going to have available and what he's going to battle you with. So that's super dope. <clears throat> to, to, to the NPCs in these video games, I forewarn you, I am a guy who's willing to grind for 45 hours straight to make your first gym visit hell. I've played Elden Ring, sir, for, I've played Soul Games for quite some time. I will body you. First, first week in the game. Yo, Nick, how many badges do you have? Uh, zero. How many Pokemon have you caught? Uh, I completed the Pokedex. <laughs> yeah, right, not gonna lie, I co I completely broke Pokemon, and I'm sure all of us did. Broke Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh like, yeah. By time, by time I got to the third gym, I was already on like level fifty. <laughs> it was bad. I felt bad for them. I was like, I, I I still think the Wild Area is probably one of the best things that Pokemon has done um, in a long Absolutely. time. Absolutely. That includes what, and, and I had the not argument, but the discussion before. I think the Wild Area is done better than what, uh, like your areas in, in our system. Like, I, 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 I agree with that. The, uh, now, dynamic weather changing, um, obviously, hmm. different Pokemon showing up during different weather events in those specific That's areas. Cool. Um, like, that was all done in the Wild Area, and and it's basically unlocked. Like, you can go, like, like I said before, you can go literally anywhere in that area. Yeah. 
Uh, whereas in Arceus, you were technically locked to a specific region until you unlocked the next one, which, yes, it was still open world, but, like, you're still locked to a spe- specific yeah. but, um, But, like Nick said before, I think we're getting a lot of elements um, from a lot of the more recent Pokemon games, like Pokemon Go, like Pokemon Let's Go series, um, mm-hmm. Arceus, yeah. Pokemon Sword Shield. We're getting a lot of those elements into these games, this game. Yeah, yeah. It I seems like... I don't play it a lot. Like, I have Sword and Shield. I don't have Arceus. But, um, Greg, I watched your review, which I love all of your reviews because I get to know about games because I'm always late on everything. Um, but Not on Kirby. Seems to me like, yeah, I love that Kirby one. We'll talk about that. Anyways, but <laughs> <laughs> the it seems like Pokemon is almost like kind of hearing us, like what we want. Kind of testing the waters but nintendo will stay as true to nintendo as much as they can so like you know yeah. they won't go as far as we want them to yet but i think they're in the right direction where they're dabbling in it see what we like see what we don't like and i do feel like there's going to come a time where they are going to master it i don't know which game it's going to be but i do feel like they're in the right direction and we're going to get the pokemon game we've all probably been wanting for uh, yeah. Sarah, Sarah, let me let me yeah. let me quote my favorite YouTuber because he drops so many gems. <clears throat> How do we maximize profit with minimum effort? Hmm. Let me call Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, but definitely, Sarah, I, I 100% agree with with your statement because, mm-hmm. like, even like earlier this week after the trailer premiered, I was on Twitter uh, having a little banter with uh, the anime academic myself, and that, that is exactly what I said. It seems like every Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch leading up into uh, Violet and Scarlet has been essentially them testing the waters, building up to this moment. Because we saw, Mm -hmm. you know, like, we saw them playing around with the catching mechanics and let's go. We also saw for the first time we got Pokemon, like, to real scale. Like, they were their true sizes in that game. And then we went on to Sword and Shield. We got, like, this pseudo open world with the, you know, what what we got there. And then they, you know, pulled back a little bit. They took a break for Diamond and Pearl. And then they came back again with Arceus. And what was that, Kyle? I was just saying it's a different dev team, so like that makes sense. Like that's yeah. what, it's splitting everything, which was smart. It gave them a little bit more time to kind of build up for this, and then you know even with Arceus earlier this year, we got you know, like you know bigger, debatable, but bigger open world areas, and we saw them play around even more with the battle system and the and the mechanics of how you catch Pokemon, <clears throat> and then even back to Sword and Shield, we saw them play around with multiplayer when we got like those uh those den raids and things of that sort now yeah. all of that is coming together and culminating into what we're seeing now we've got new pokemon we've got multiplayer we've got open world maps we have open exploration from what it seems with friends in those worlds and another cool thing that i didn't see a lot of people pointing out but it looks like in the trailer you can actually see two online friends that are trading in the open world so it doesn't look like we will be you know like confined to like shuffling through too many menus hopefully in order to trade or even battle with friends and moving forward so there's a lot of good stuff going on here one thing that i also am really kind of excited about is that what did they say the launch date was it was like november November. it says it's gonna be november of this year Common. like that we still don't know the gimmick like obviously like, all, all the pokemon games have always had some type Ooh, of you are so right we don't know the gimmick yet like we we have like the rumors or i think the biggest rumor right now is that um certain pokemon will be able to access a uh, a third uh typing or like swap out uh one of their typings for something for something else so like that's the Ooh, that's the, okay you have no idea oh no idea. great right, if lechon can it. do that it's trouble bye <laughs> um let's go ahead and do that let's let's make that a thing and let's go ahead and give nine tails the 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 typing it should have always had fire psychic let's do that because we need that in life um, and then the other rumor as well, there's also been some indications oh, yeah. that Mega Evolutions are, are supposedly coming back. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm excited to figure out what that gimmick is, too. But 
it, it's I mean we've still got what mm, another five months so we'll yeah. probably maybe next month get something about that maybe hopefully this, this is going to be interesting so um, I, I want to before we continue I got to get Lady Gunner in this because my girl is uh She's um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Lady Gunner is doing her thing with Cloud Nimbus. Um, if you understand that in the window, if you understand that joke, it's funny as hell. <clears throat> Lady Gunner, you gonna play some Pokemon? Yeah, that's Ashley. <laughs> I'm finna get me a Switch, so that's gonna be yeah. actually my first Pokemon game other than Pokemon. Ooh. Is that another what challenge? That you had on your phone? What was that Pokemon, Pokemon Go? Go? Pokemon Go. Yeah. Other than that. This may be my actually my actual first Pokemon game. So. If you want to have Pokemon nights where we grind and trade until you know people are tired in the face, that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is another challenge to BLP uh, for to the TPG. Uh, Y'all have hold on, a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're not gripping your mic like Suge Knight, do not make this <clears throat> challenge. Oh uh, no, 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 sir, sir, check this out. You like to do it like Suge Knight. I'm gonna do it like the man who wants to get a check. I want everyone on the other side to understand this. I sell the tickets. I am the ticket. They call. They're going to pull up to see me lose, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm. I am. Uh, TBE. The best ever. So if you want this smoke, pull your ass up. We ain't scared of nobody. Y'all got Aiden. You got somebody on your team that's 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 probably one of the best Pokemon players I've ever faced. <clears throat> Get him on the squad. Let him run. But guess what? We gonna bring the smoke to him too. Anyone can get it. Everyone can get it. Mm -hmm.